Thanks folks, today coming to you from the John Muir National Historic Site. National Park Service. So this is a national park or rather a national historic site. We're at the Visitor Center in Martinez, California. This is a fascinating stop and I'm afraid this video will not do it justice if you ever get the chance to come here. You will see the home of John Muir, who lived here for some years when he wasn't out in the environment, uh, being an advocate for the protection of our environmental beautiful places, especially the national parks. This is what the area looks like. It's right in the heart of Martinez. Behind this gate and up the hill is the old house where John Muir lived with his wife and his two daughters. John Muir worked the extensive fields here and he harvested fruits of all different varieties, probably hundreds and hundreds of trees. He did this hard work night and day for five years and then went back into the wilderness to uh, study and write. There's a statue of John Muir inside the visitor center. Here's a picture I've seen somewhere else. It's John Muir with Teddy Roosevelt. And they are in Yosemite in that picture. So I'm behind that gate and headed up to the house. We already took a tour through the house. It's very interesting, but I'm not going to do that again. We're just getting too darn hungry. <laughs> There's the house, and at the very top is a bell tower. We climbed all three levels and into the bell tower and rang the bell. I want to give you a brief overview of this gorgeous piece of property. There are so many fruit trees on this property. All different kinds of fruit and all different varieties. Just mentioning just a few of them are pomegranate, peach, pear, plum, quince, and more. This is an old carriage house where they kept supplies and an old carriage. See if I can get a close-up of that. There it is. How cool. The uh, property is so extensive, there's actually another building way at the back. And these buildings are free. You can come and tour these buildings to your heart's content. You may leave a donation, should you choose to do that. And there are people here that will answer your questions and uh, kind of give you an orientation to everything. Lots of information in the visitor center as well coming back down from the uh, house where he lived. Again, there's the visitor center and there's busy roads in Martinez. John Muir did so much to preserve our beautiful wilderness areas that I just had to do this quick video in tribute to all of his work. And hopefully you'll come here for yourself someday and check out the old place where John Muir used to live and work and read up on John Muir. He was a fascinating, wonderful person. With those thoughts in mind, I will say bye for now. Take time to wander. We certainly are doing our share today in Martinez, going to the historical sites. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye for now.